So let's just settle into our meditation posture and just feel, you know, just whatever's been going on today, how, wherever you are at in your mind. <clears throat> and just notice what's kind of bubbling to the surface. without judgment and then just check your body your sitting position your feet your knees your legs hands sits bones slightly raised hands in the meditation mudra right hand nestled in the left with your thumbs touching and imagine your spine you know it's lengthening it's a string of pearls of light that somebody is very gently pulling from above so your spine lengthens coaxing all the muscles along the length of the spine and your head is slightly tipped forward just putting a little bit of length in the back of the neck and the eyes are down looking along the length of the nose to a spot about a couple of inches ahead tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth and relax the jaw Just bring your awareness to the crown of the head and relax the scalp and the forehead, and the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the area around the mouth, the back of the head, the occipital bone, just that little scalp around there, and your ears. And imagine going inside your ear and relaxing the eardrum inside, the ear canal. The temples, relax the back of the tongue, maybe even your throat. And wrap, relax the back of the neck, just release any tension there. And the shoulders and allow your shoulder blades to drop down. Relax the throat, the chest, the belly, the limbs hands, fingers, and feet and toes. And bring your mind to the breath. And just notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. And let's bring to mind all those people of our life all our loved ones, our very dear friends, our spouses, our children. And then all those people in our life we are maybe having a little bit more difficulty with. Maybe they've harmed us. And then there's those people in our life who we're kind of pretty much indifferent to. Strangers we pass in the supermarket just see their face we maybe smile we never think of them again but you know those that friend that enemy and that stranger could very easily change places even this week this year and maybe it's happened to some of you already in your lifetime and then they're all equal equally deserving of our concern why? Because the friend, that person that we don't like very much and that stranger in the supermarket, they're all equal, just like you, in their wish to be happy, and their wish to avoid suffering, and this unbelievable capacity for this enlightened mind, just like you have. So they're just like us, just the same, no separation. So we will do this meditation this evening for all these people of our life and by extension, all sentient beings. And as I've been saying, if there is a dear friend in your life or someone in your life who you think might benefit from doing this meditation, but might not necessarily want to spend the time, just bring them 
to your mind and you can maybe sit them next to you and imagine them doing the meditation as well. So remember there is no negativity that cannot be purified and this purification process is basically it's a psychological one. So we create negativity with our mind. So we're going to reverse that by creating positivity with our mind as we do this Vajrasattva purification meditation in the context of the four opponent powers. And the first of these is the power of regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day and in this life and in all past lives. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech and then in general regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. And we experience everything, everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we will necessarily experience harm, suffering in the future. And given we already understand about suffering, most of us, and we understand that we don't want to experience any more, it would make sense, therefore, that logically, that we pull out these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering. I am sick of suffering. And also regret the anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. So refuge first. We rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify ourselves. So, you know, it's not about asking for forgiveness. We're not going to Vajrasattva and say, please forgive me because I did such and such really bad thing. We're asking, can you please give me, this is like a very mature adult taking responsibility attitude. I've done this thing. I regret it. I want to do something about it. Can you please help me? And so the Vajrasattva has this method that we can use to heal ourselves. So we're purifying ourselves by relying on these methods. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head, a couple of inches facing the same way as you. And you can also imagine this as your teacher, if you have a spiritual guide, manifesting in this form for your benefit. And you can imagine he's made of radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion and this lotus, although born out of mud, is untainted by that mud. So it's just like our enlightened potential, born out of our delusions, yet untainted by them. And he has this beautiful, radiant face. His eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for us. He has this sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom and the right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion and their being crossed represents the union of these two which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So this is a wish for this person or these people to be free from suffering. So think particularly maybe of someone you might have harmed recently or a sentient being, and then maybe in general, perhaps all beings we have ever harmed in the past and develop compassion for them. And then think of people that have harmed you. And although this is probably a little bit more difficult to do, try and develop compassion for them by thinking the harm they've caused you is going to kind of manifest as harm for them, suffering for them in the future. And that, that time is never going to be clear. So it might manifest at an extremely, um, you know, unwelcome time, inconvenient time. So have compassion for them for that. 
So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think, I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy. <clears throat> and this is the medicine, doing the practice of purification. So visualization and recitation of the mantra. So first we purify the body. And imagine Vajrasattva now very compassionately sending powerful white nectar, sort of in a way like coming out of a hose quite forcefully, or a waterfall, like maybe Niagara Falls, or maybe if it's too powerful, another waterfall, or a shower head. Anyway, it's this kind of forceful nectar pouring into you from Vajrasattva's heart. It kind of arcs around and enters your crown, and it pours into you and fills you up completely except it keeps coming. So it pushes out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky, oily liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dido Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawa Siti Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hom Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dido Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebowa, sawa siddhi mempi yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hom pe, ambadrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita, diru mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawa siddhi mempi yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajra bawa maha samaya saka a hom pe ambadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dido me bawa sutokaya me bawa sepokaya me bawa anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me pe yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya saka a hom pe ambadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita Dido me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, anarakta me bawa, sawa siddhi me pe yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hom pe, vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita, dido me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa siddhi me pe yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya saka a hom pe, ambadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dudu me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, sepokaya me bawa, Anarakta me bawa, sawa siddhi me pe yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe. So be delighted. All the harm you have ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. And think there is no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So next is a purification of speech. And Vajrasattva now very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra again, arcing around and, and quite forcefully entering your crown, filling your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech, which overflows and disappears into space, except this it overflows quite forcefully. It's kind of like being pushed out. So Lamza Brimbache says, almost as if a wind has blown a hat off the top of your head. So you can imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and useless speech, careless speech, and lying, talking badly about others behind their backs and getting other people to agree with you, all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita 
Dida Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dida Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, Anarakta Mibawa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Duda Mibawa, Sutokaya Mibawa, Supokaya Mibawa, Anarakta Mibawa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Duda Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Supokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Duda Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Zita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Zata A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Duda Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dudu Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified. And imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech. So every time you speak to somebody, it benefits their mind. Even if you have to say something to them that's maybe difficult for them to hear, you may, you just imagine you can say it in a way that will land and that will be beneficial for them and that it won't end up in a problem. So next is a purification of the mind and Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra. Again, this kind of arcs around and enters your crown, filling your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a room and switch on a light. So that light instantly dispels the darkness in the room, doesn't it? So it's the same here. When the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your depression and anger and anxieties and attachments and grasping and neediness and, and disappointments and grudges and jealousy, all of this, all this kind of muck that's in our mind, all instantly dispelled as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dino Patita, Duda Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Supokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dino Patita, Duda Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Supokaya Meboa, 
and erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piazza sawa kama sita me sitam triam kuruhum ha 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 ho bagoan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satra a humpe and vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, supokaya me boa. And erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe, vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita, dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, supokaya me boa, and erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dudu Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyato Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Hey. So be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of your suffering, all of our own suffering, and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are totally purified. They're gone. And think there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is the purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. So just imagine this time Vajrasattva sends light and nectar. <clears throat> and if you wish, you can, as you imagine this light and nectar pouring into you, you can perhaps do uh, imagine a couple of mantras each for the visualization of the body and of the speech and the mind that we've just done, or just imagine light and nectar pouring in, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as we recite the mantra. Vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa siddhi me piyato sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tatagata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe Vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ho bhagawan sawa tatagata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satva a hum pe Vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satva a hum pe, am vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita, dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sapokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. Am vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita. Dudu me boa, sutokaya me boa, sapokaya me boa. Anurakta me boa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. Vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita dudu me boa sutokaya me boa sapokaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe Vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita dudu me boa sutokaya me boa sapokaya me boa Anurakta me boa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satva a hum pe. Now feel you are completely purified, not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream, even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed.
obscurations to your enlightenment. So next is the power of resolve. So again, those of you who've been coming along for such a long time now, night after night after night, for even more than a year, I think going up to 18 months, perhaps more than that. Anyway, it's a long time. And so I really rejoice every time I see you coming night after night. It's really amazing. So thank you for that. And thank yourselves because this is, you're doing this for yourself. It's really amazing. So rejoice for that. And then we're making a resolve here to refrain from doing things that are harmful to others. This is a really crucial step in this purification process. So we make a determination to not harm with our body, our speech, and our mind. And it may not ever be ever again, because that's a bit like a New Year's Eve promise. But without this determination to start working on not harming, we're going to keep following the same old patterns. We're going to keep gossiping about this person. We're going to keep biting our nails or whatever it is, this thing we do. So this determination, this aspiration to not harm again is it's like a beacon that guides us, our body, our speech, and our mind in new directions. So Rimshay says, everything exists on the tip of a wish. This is our aspiration to refrain from harming. So think, decide in your mind about something that you'd like to work on tonight, between tonight and tomorrow when we meet again. It could be something to do with your speech. It could be some negative self-talk that you might catch. So maybe if you do catch yourself engaging in some negative self-talk, catch it and maybe talk yourself against it. Like, why would you talk like that to yourself? And then maybe try and refrain from talking like that to yourself for five seconds or 30 seconds or a minute. And you can also imagine Imagine a photograph of yourself as a child. Would you speak to that child in that way? No, you wouldn't. You'd feel horrible. So why? So we have to kind of retrain ourselves. This is part of the training program, is to refrain. So this determination to not do again is what gives us the strength to change. So imagine Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind, melts into white light, and absorbs into you through your crown and think my guru's body, speech, and mind and Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind and my own body, speech, and mind are the same thing. And Lama Yesh used to call that union oneness. So next, Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there for a little while. So in this way, you can think of all phenomena as being empty, not existing from their own side. And perhaps you can think that maybe the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you have created this evening doing this purification to all those people of your life and to all sentient beings thinking May all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zaprimpeshe, โอทุบชดชางเจียนจามก่อนเกลอเวเทนจิงคยองเพลอเวคุณจอดอกโพเซชอกสมกัวเวเลกมอนทูดรูพอดอกซอกดูเลเจ and for Lama Ursel, Venable One, to whose kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. 
and Pageshi Sherab, beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path. You are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Wow, everybody. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Mary, for hosting. Lovely to see you again, Victor, Lisa, thank you. Thank you, Lorraine, I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Martha, thank you, Elizabeth, and Shayla, and Kim. Good night, everybody, sweet dreams, lots of love, so see you tomorrow. Lovely, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye.